All right, what up everybody? It's your boy Akeem and welcome to this vlog. Here to give you a preview of the Minnesota Golden Gophers for the 2016 college football season. Now last season the Gophers went 6 and 7 overall and they no longer have head coach Jerry Kill who decided to resign due to health problems that he's been dealing with since back in 2005, which is a tough break for the Gophers because Kill has been doing a decent job as head coach for Minnesota, which means that Tracy Clays is the new head coach. He was the, actually the interim head coach last season, and they actually the Minnesota decided to keep him as head coach. He has a new offensive coordinator in Jay Johnson and and defensive coordinator and Jay Sawvel and I wish them the best of luck on each uh, each level. Now let's start to start talking about the offensive side. Mitch Leiter is their starting quarterback who had 14 touchdown passes and 11 picks last season. He needs to still need to need to work on try to uh, um do a, increase do a better job with his touchdown interception ratio in 2014 he had 11 touchdown passes and, and eight interceptions and in this past season close to pretty much similar numbers as far as the touchdown interception ratio i'm looking to for him to have at least 20 touchdown passes just to catch a little bit more of my attention i wish him the best of luck now he does have the return of tight end and brandon um, Link, um lincoln who had over 400 yards receiving last season as well as the number two wide receiver in Drew Wallet-Tarski, um, who's a decent player who's actually had over 500 yards receiving last year. Now, on the defensive side, they did lose some key players, but um, they still had the return of Cody Polk, who had 99 tackles last season. And one player in particular who I'm looking forward to hopefully pretty um, step up this upcoming season at cornerback, and that is Jalen um, um, Myrick, who had three interceptions last season. He's a fast kid. He runs a 10.1 uh, um, 100 meter, and the world record, I believe, is 9.58. So that shows his speed, but he needs to do a better job as far as his overall skills as a cover um, player in, in, in tight coverages. I think he has the capability of doing so. I do wish him the best of luck. But he is the key player defensively who I'm looking forward to seeing him stepping it up, stepping up a notch this upcoming season. Now, if I take a look at their schedule, I think they're going to do a little bit worse than what they did last season. I do not see this team becoming bowl eligible. I know some of you, a lot of you Minnesota fans will disagree with me, but I don't see this team going 6-6 six and six and making it back to a Rose Bowl. I have them going 5-7 and seven overall. I think I have them go, I actually have them going winning the first three games. Games, then um, on losing actually to Penn State and, and, and Iowa and then Maryland have a chance of beating Rutgers, Illinois, and Purdue. Those are the three games that I think they have a chance of doing so, but I think they're going to find a way to lose things. I think Illinois would definitely kind of surprise people in the Big Ten Conference this upcoming season. And in their final three games, they had to play at Nebraska, face Northwestern, which was a 10-win uh, uh, team last season, as well as Wisconsin in their season finale. I don't really see them winning of six games. I have them winning five, just barely missing out in bowl contention. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes. I have a lot more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.